Hi, this is the ProPlate, Autocue's most popular teleprompter mounting system. And in this video, we're going to look at the best way to set it up. You need to mount the ProPlate to the tripod. So first, remove the quick release plate from the tripod and fix it to the underside of the ProPlate. Use two screws if possible, as this prevents the plate from moving out of line with the tripod head. There are both 3 8 and quarter fixings available on the underside of the plate. The Pro Plate then simply mounts onto the tripod and is now ready to fix the prompter and the camera to it. Using the keyholes in the bracket set, mount it to the rods and fix it in place with the two locking rings. Once the bracket set is mounted, you can now fit the monitor. The bracket is supplied with four poles. The monitor poles are the shortest ones. Fit the two monitor poles by screwing them into the sliding nuts in the vertical face marked monitor. There are two sets of marks, the inner set are for the 12 inch monitor and the outer set are for the 17 inch and the 20 inch monitors. Now fit the two hood poles and make sure they are lined up with the correct mark for the hood that you are using a medium wide angle hood or a large wide angle hood. There are two designed a prompter monitor used with the Pro Plate, the Master Series and the Professional Series. The Master Series range has high bright daylight readable screens with a built in sensor tally light, looping power and video and a 12 volt DC input as standard. They are very lightweight and come in three sizes, 12 inch, 17 inch and 20 inch. They're great for the studio and on location. The professional series monitors are not daylight readable but do give a bright crisp image and are fine for any studio environment. There are two sizes, the 12 and the 17. There's no looping power or video and no built-in tally light. But if you need a tally light solution, you can buy one of these separately. Whichever display you've chosen, they all fit in the same way. Just slide it onto the monitor poles and lock it in place with the thumb screws. This is a 12 inch MSP monitor. If you need to fit 17 or 20 inch monitors, just slide the two nuts to the outer mark and now it's set to fit the larger monitors. Autocue's hoods for the Pro Plate come in two sizes, large wide angle and medium wide angle. This is the large wide angle hood. You'll need one of these if you've chosen the 20 inch monitor or you're using a box lens with a large broadcast camera. And this is the medium wide angle hood that's fine for the majority of lens and camera configurations. The maximum size monitor for the medium wide angle hood is 17 inches. To mount the hood, slide it onto the hood poles, passing the poles through the clamps and locking it in place with the thumb screws. The next step is to install the glass. Remove the paper from the glass and open the glass frame by releasing the clip and drop the frame down. Place the glass in the frame ensuring that the blue dot is facing towards you. Now close the frame and make sure the glass clip is pushed back and locked in place by tightening it with the thumb screw. The camera is fixed to the Pro Plate with a 3.8 camera screw. Accessing the screw is via an aperture on the underside of the plate. Slide the gold carriage of the Pro Plate until the screw is revealed. You are then able to turn the screw with your fingers and fix the camera in place. If you need additional 3.8 or quarter width camera screws they are available. It is very important that the camera lens is positioned in the centre of the glass as close to the glass as possible. To do this you are probably going to need to make some adjustments. To adjust the rod length, release the two thumb screws and move the unit to the correct position and re-tighten the thumb screws. To fine tune the balance of the unit, you can change the centre of gravity of the entire unit by releasing the lever on the pro plate carriage and sliding it back and forth to achieve a perfect balance. To make sure the lens is in the centre of the glass, it is possible to change the height of the unit 
in relation to the plate by moving the keyhole plate up and down between the three fixed positions in the plate. To fine tune the lens centre, the hood can be moved up and down the hood poles. The camera way is a really useful accessory. If you fit it at one of AutoQ's talent feedback monitors under the prompter monitor and increase the weight on the front, adding a camera weight to the back will counterbalance that additional weight so you can achieve perfect balance. Another useful accessory is the small camera riser. It's used to raise small cameras like this box camera and allow the lens to be centred in the glass. Here's both the riser and the camera weights being used with one of Telemetric's robotic heads. Just two camera weights were all that was needed to counterbalance a 17 inch MSP monitor. As you can see, the Pro Plate provides a really solid base to mount the system to. The stabiliser bar kit is an accessory normally used with robotic heads. It fits between two clamps mounted on the Pro Plate and on the side of the hood. It stabilises the unit when being used with really fast moving robotic heads. So I hope that gives you a much better understanding of how flexible the Pro Plate is and will give you the very best fit whatever camera lens combination you're using. Thanks for watching.